Um, the on deck will be <clears throat> Buddy Mills, A.J. Louderback, Richard Garcia, Patrick Tums. So uh, now we have probably Christy Zoltner. Zoltner. Zoltner? Yes, yes. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm here for 3785 in support. Um, I have a little bit of, this is a little bit different. You haven't heard anything like this yet. Um, this yet. Um, my name's Christy Zartler, and I work in pediatrics as a nurse practitioner uh, for 19 years now. Um, as parents, <coughs> you probably are well aware of uh, the growing number of autistic children. Um, it's one in 66. Um, 15 years ago, I gave birth to premature identical twins, um, and one of my twins, her name is Kara, she has multiple disabilities. Um, I can't bring her because she can't function in the real world. <laughs> um, as a mother and a nurse practitioner, you're probably <coughs> aware that I have done everything possible to help her. Um, I think I mentioned she's 15 years old, she's nonverbal, she is not potty trained, she requires full assistance with bathing, dressing, and feeding. Um, her cerebral palsy impairs her digestion and is the source of chronic con constipa constipation and painful cramping. Um, she has a choking problem and drools continuously. Um, she is severely autistic and um, her developmental age is about maybe roughly two years of age. Her primary mode of communication is self-abuse, and it's called self-injurious behavior. Um, my daughter demonstrates severe aggression that is shown by punches to her face many times during the day. She, um, she has been on many medications, and you all have heard a lot about medications, so I'm not going to get into that, but they all have harmful side effects to her body systems. Um, her current medications are not working, and her neurologist has informed me that we are out of options, and we live in the Dallas area, so I'm looking for more. I'm looking for any doctors, if you all know any. I'm trying to, I'm shopping around for more. Um, these, um, many families in our community uh, believe that cannabis works for their autistic children. Uh, these parents have shared videos of their children with aggression being treated, then after cannabis treatment, the children are interacting with people, making eye contact, doing tasks and activities, smiling and enjoying their surroundings. Um, and I believe that the sick children here in Texas deserve to have access to this less harmful uh, medication. Um, I'm a I'm a Christian, you know, conservative mother, and my daughter has no more options, and she is an eighth generation Texan, so we've been here a while. Um, we can't move to another state. We have um, we're in the Texas Medicaid waiver programs, and we waited ten years for that her name to come up. So we have in-home help that helps us care for her so that we don't or don't have to institutionalize her so um, I'm just gonna cut it quick here and um, I'm just wanting to say that um, we can't leave Texas because of our programs that you already give us <laughs> that's it thank you so much for being here question 